Hey, it's Seth here at Archibald James Wine and Cider. Um, I'm going to go through a few different ciders with you today. Uh, the first one I'll tell you a little about is our Dry Winter Blend. Um, so this is our current release in our series of heirloom and cider apple blends. Um, for this cider, we pulled the barrels out of the cellar in the winter, um, the end of winter, put together a blend we liked, um, bottled this in spring, uh, let it age for a month or two before being ready to put on the shelf. So this is a current release um, called Dry Winter Blend. This is a blend of different heirloom and cider apples. Um, some of the heirloom apples you're going to find in it, there's some foxwell, some wicks and crabs, um, there's a blend of different russeted apples that were harvested together, pressed and fermented together in a barrel, um, a mixture of inoculated yeast fermentations and wild yeast fermentations. Um, there's some Porter's Perfection as one of the uh, cider apples to give it some tannin, some earthiness, some grip to it. Um, so there's a, 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 a different blend of apples in there to provide different components to it. Um, like most of our ciders, uh, a lot of barrel aging and neutral oak. Um, just keep the barrels topped, keep the oxygen out, very, very little sulfites, if any at all. A lot of natural fermentations um, and, a lot, and pretty much only natural secondary fermentation, which is often real slow um, in a cool cellar, throw up a lot of flavors and help develop texture and things like that. So um, again, this is our dry winter blend. I think what you'll find in this is some of that fermentation characteristics from the heirloom side of the apples and get a little bit of that citrus fruit, some floral components. Um, some dried quince, some dried pear, dried apple, those kind of flavors. Um, with those cider apples, you get a little bit of tannin, a little bit of meat, meatiness, a little bit of earthiness. Um, the crab apple provides some of that earthiness, um, as well as a little bit of tartness and structure. So you get these different layers that fall into place at different points in, in, when you're drinking the cider. Um, so again, no filtering, no fining. We just rack the cider out of barrels, um, give it a little carbonation on the way of the package. Um, and this is our dry winter blend. Um, again, grab a few bottles, definitely good for cellaring. Pop one in the fridge, uh, put a chill on it, try it, see what you think. Um, for sure, I like to put a few of these in the cellar and pull one out every couple months and keep trying. It's just really fun to watch these develop. Um, they definitely can, can age pretty well for some time. Enough phenolics in some of these apples to let it hold up not worry about falling apart anytime soon. Um, so grab a few bottles. Um, love to hear what you think. Again, we put um, different heirloom blends, our dry and off dry out every couple months. So we keep putting these different blends out, try to keep something fresh out there. Um, so we'll see this one, and then you'll probably see another couple in the next three or four months. Um, but grab some, um, drink some now, age some, and keep us posted on what you think. Um, thanks a bunch. And and uh, we look forward to hearing from you.